Oh Mario, one of the things I really love about your franchise is its difficulty and challenge. In my opinion, I would say most Mario games provide a perfect challenge. But man, when I say this, I really mean it. Mario games can get really, really hard. But the question is, what is really the hardest Mario game? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Before we get started, I quickly want to tell you guys that I have not played every single Mario game that's ever been created. So, if your hardest Mario game isn't on this list, it's either because I didn't find it challenging, or I simply haven't played it. Anyways, let's go into number 5. Number 5, Super Mario Bros. will be more specific, versus Super Mario Bros. If you don't know what versus Super Mario Bros. is, it takes an already super hard game, Super Mario Bros. It makes it even harder by making the timer go faster, giving you less time to complete the levels. Most power-ups have been removed or are now replaced in a different block. There are only 4 1-up mushrooms in the entire game, and now some of the levels have been replaced by some of the hardest levels from Super Mario Bros. 2 and the Lost Levels. If this all sounds hard to you, get this. I still haven't even mentioned every change that makes this game harder than the original, but for the sake of this video, I'll just mention the biggest changes. I think what mostly makes this game hard is its, well, not so great controls. I can't tell you how many times that I have ran into a pit because of the delay when Mario jumps. Mario pretty much jumps a, a second and a half later after you press the A button which can take a while to get used to, and for those reasons is why I think vs. Super Mario Bros. is the 5th hardest Mario game. Number 4, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze While pretty much every Donkey Kong game is hard, Tropical Freeze takes it many steps further and makes it the hardest Donkey Kong game so far. At first it starts out actually really really easy, but then once you get to World 3, the game already starts to get brutal and most games don't get that hard to buy the World 3. Also, the platforming in this game can get insanely hard, and that's not even including the K levels and the secret final world. Oh, and speaking uh, about the platforming being insanely hard, there are collectibles such as the Kong letters and the puzzle pieces that make every stage at least two or three times harder. And oh gosh, please don't get me started with the minecart and rocket barrel levels. These levels have always been hard to me since DK Country Returns, and now in this game, it seems like they ramped up the difficulty even more. What I think is the hardest part of this game are the ridiculously, extremely hard K levels. You unlock these levels by getting all the Kong letters in every single stage, which is already hard enough. And let me just say, uh, once you play these levels, you're going to be screaming at your TV and rage quitting a lot. Because Jesus Christ, these levels are some of the most toughest times you'll ever have in a platformer. Now you're probably wondering, how is this game so high on the list after saying all this? Well, there's a little thing called the item shop. And man, if there was no item shop, this game would either be at number 3 or number 2. Heck, I'd probably still be stuck at world 5 if it wasn't for the item shop. It really, really does uh, help you throughout the game and makes it that big of a difference to put this game at only number 4 of the 5 hardest Mario games. Number 3, Super Mario 64. Now I can already see you're really confused. How's this even a hard Mario game? Well, let me explain. While most people are good at this game, I've always had a hard time with it. Whether it's me trying to get the camera angle to work, spending hours trying to find or get a star that I have no clue where it's at, or dying and getting a game over from this game's sometimes precise platforming, and such or this game's pretty aged controls. Speaking of the controls, that's pretty much a, what makes this game a really hard. For example, swimming controls in this game are not good. Half the time I drown because of me trying to turn and swim upward, but it's very hard to do that for some reason. Another example would have to be the Bowser fights. Whenever I tried to grab his tail and spin him around, it always felt really wonky and not right. Also, Mario never lets go when you tell him to. Besides the controls, there are some really, really, extremely hard stars in this game. Just to name some, uh, Stomp on the Thwomp and Tick Tock Clock, 100 Coin Star and Rainbow Ride, Pyramid Puzzle, and etc. But the number one star, or should I say stars, that drive me crazy days on end 
and is another reason why this game is at number 3, are the Kill Me Now Wing Cap Red Coin Stars. These stars are pretty much the minecart and rocket barrel levels of Super Mario 64, except these are worse than that. And this also takes me back to the controls, because the Wing Cap probably has the worst controls ever in a video game. Not only that, you have to be very precise when you get in the red coins. Also, the wing cap has a time limit, so you have to be quick as well. The only good thing about these stars is that you don't lose lives when you fall down, but you're still going to be stuck on these stars for hours and hours. While this is for sure a hard game, this isn't the hardest. This next Mario game is crucial in many more ways, and while it is one of my favorite games of all time, it is definitely one of the hardest games I've ever played. Number 2, Super Mario Sunshine. As much as I love this game, it'll get you triggered very easily. And you're probably thinking that this game is only hard because of the controls like number 5 and number 3 were. But that's actually not the case this time. The controls are great, it's just that 75% of the shine sprites are harder than almost any level in any Mario game. Well, of course besides the number 1 hardest Mario game, which I'll be talking about later. I can name a bunch of shines that felt like a nightmare. Some examples are the Watermelon Festival Shine, where you have to push this giant watermelon down a mountain. And once you get to the ground, you have to avoid a bunch of these annoying ducks, which chase you, and if one duck touches the watermelon, you are screwed and have to restart. Another shine would have to be the Mega Bowser Appears Shine, where you have to shoot these missiles at this giant robot Bowser, but at the same time, you have to avoid and shoot the bullet bills that come after you. And you are on a roller coaster, and you are doing a bunch of loops and turns, so it makes it even harder to aim at pretty much anything. Let's not forget about the stupid boat at Corona Mountain, which is, by the way, controlling the boat is just as bad as controlling the wing cap in Super Mario 64, where you have to gently and barely tap the R trigger on the controller because the boat is super sensitive whenever moving it with blood. And also, if you touch anything, you instantly die. There are of course a lot more shines that are either just as hard or even harder, but I can't tell you all of them in this one video, so there are just a few. Not to mention that blue coins are another reason why Super Mario Sunshine is a very hard game, for how tedious and most of the blue coins can be. Now you're probably thinking, wow, Super Mario Sunshine sounds insanely hard, and there's no way any other Mario game is harder, right? Wrong. This next Mario game is not only the hardest Mario game I've ever played, it's just also possibly the hardest video game I've ever played in my life. Number 1, Super Mario Bros. 3. Good lord, where do I even start with this game? The fact that you'll get 5 to 10 or even more game overs in the first world. How words can even explain how precise the platforming is. Should I talk about that 95% of the levels, especially the castle and airship levels, are harder than any you'll ever encounter in any Mario game or possibly any video game in general. Maybe I should go on about how extremely nerve-wracking bosses are in this game, or should I start by saying that once you get a game over, you'll have to start all the way back to the first level in that world. So if you are at the boss of that final level on that world, and you happen to die on your last life, and get a game over. Guess what? All that progress throughout the world you made is gone and the game starts you right back from the beginning. Don't get me wrong, I love this game to death and you should still give it a try, but be warned when I say this. The difficulty in this game is way over the top, but if you are looking for something insanely hard to play, well this is definitely it. Cause this is for sure the hardest Mario has ever gotten, and the hardest Mario will ever get. So, thank you guys all for watching, leave a comment below and tell me, what are your top 5 hardest Mario games? Do you agree or disagree with my list? And also, I would love it if you guys gave me some feedback for how it did for my second top 5 ever created on this channel. If you enjoy this type of stuff, then please, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Once again, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time, so bye, peace out. Peace! Mario Fan 5000.